Hi, I'm Heidi Philipson, the host for the Arts and Impact. Welcome back. We're very excited to see you here today. With me today, I have the wonderful professional actress, well, director, voiceover artist, all around talent <laughs> for upstate New York, Yvonne Perry. She's going to be seen on the upcoming uh, performances of the Cap Reps. Um, Sisters Rosenzweig, I'm sorry, I have to put the old German in there, I know I'm going to be corrected, uh, by Wendy Wasserstein. So here, without further ado, Yvonne, hi, hi. Wel welcome, thanks Thank for coming. For me. So first of all, how do you correctly pronounce it? Because I totally botched that mm -hmm. up. Well, um, Wendy did have European uh, Jewish uh, heritage, uh, so she pronounced her name, she grew up in Brooklyn though, so okay. she pronounced her last name Wasserstein. Okay. And um, the play, Wendy pronounced the last name of the characters in this play, Wa uh, Rosenzweig. So it's, it's not a swag and it's not a swag, it's a little in between, Rosenzweig. Now, you're a bit of, well, I mean, you're a nerd at heart, right? Mm -hmm. I, think, I think that's what I know enough about you, mm -hmm. that every really, and, and, and intellectually, a lot of actors love to do the research. They yeah. love to do, what do you do? What did you do to prepare for this? And did you have fun with it? Yeah, I absolutely, I, I love this play. I saw it, the original production in Lincoln Center in 1992. You didn't? Yeah, I did. So I already had uh, a script, the original script from that production. Um, with the poster from Lincoln Center on the cover. So I was familiar with the play, and then when I knew that I would be playing uh, Gorgeous, which is the name of my character. Oh, that's um, not bad. <laughs> yes, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> um, I uh, actually, just this past year, a book was published, a, bio a biography of Wendy Wasserstein called Wendy and the Lost Boys, written by Julie Solomon. And that was a font of information, of not only about Wendy, but also about this, this play was probably the most autobiographical play that Wendy Wasserstein right. wrote. So many of the characters in this play were based on actual people in her life, family members and um, relationships, or amalgamum sort of combinations of different people in her life. So by reading the, um, the biography before I went into rehearsal, I felt like I already sort of had a handle on uh, where this character came from. Wendy actually did does have a sister named Gorgeous. Well, so. I remember way back in September when you and I were in a little film mm -hmm. thing, you had the book then. Yeah. So you've been prepping for this for quite some time. I've been preparing for several months and then um, certainly since rehearsals have started, we've been we've been knee deep in this since two days after Christmas. And it it's pretty consuming and that's great. That's good because that's the only way you get it. I actually went It's um, a full time job right. on a short term basis, yes. right? And I actually, uh, Georgette Wasserstein Levi's is still alive. That's Wendy's middle sister, and who um, who went by Gorgeous in the family. She's the only one still living, and she actually lives in Manchester, Vermont. Which, no, which really. Most people know is not too far from here. Yes, her and her husband Albert run the Wilburton Inn. And I got in my car on my equity day off a week ago Monday, and I just drove to Vermont and walked in and said, "Hey, is Georgette here?" And she was sitting right there. And she could not have been more gracious. She sat with me for over two hours. So you just sort of did that yeah. spontaneously. Just no pre, just sort of went with the moment. Yeah. And um, how yeah. was that experience with her? It was wonderful. She was taking out um, some personal family photo albums, showing oh, me. Uh, I could tell where some of the pictures from that were in the book that I had read came from their family album. And so it was interesting to see you know, a photo I saw in the book from her sister Sandra's wedding. Um, the character Sarah is based on her sister Sandra. And then I knew the picture from the, auto, from the biography I read, but then in Georgette's album I could see the five other pictures taken that day hmm. on the same balcony, uh, you know, a rooftop in New York. And um, that was pretty wonderful. But more wonderful was just to sit and talk to this woman who the, my character was loosely based on and really get a sense of... Um, who she, she talks a lot. My character never shuts up when I'm on stage. So, and Georgette talks a lot, but she's also really connected. And I think one of the struggles for my character, perhaps How, like any middle sister, right. she's the middle sister. Right. Um, How this, many are in your family? I'm one of six. Oh, wow. I'm one of six, and I do have two sisters, um, but I'm the oldest. So, okay. um, but this, this, in this play, I play the middle sister, and... Um, you know, you struggle to be taken seriously when you're the middle sister, mm -hmm. and that's definitely my character's struggle. Uh, and you, um, gorgeous in the play, uh, you know, she has a line, I'm not a stupid woman, 
And it's very easy to think of her as being that because she's just so happy about a lot of things. See, it's so interesting that you're saying that because I'm like you, I'm the eldest. Mm -hmm. And um, my daughter is the youngest mm -hmm. and she goes through the same thing. Mm -hmm. She really wants to prove herself. Mm -hmm. She was on the show last week talking about her role in the film, Her Telling Heart. She really wants to prove herself and she often says the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not stupid, really, she's brilliant. Yeah. So uh, that must have been an interesting experience and I think actors sort of live for that, don't mm -hmm. they? To put yourself yeah. in someone else's shoes. Yeah. I mean, in talking to the real, to Georgette, you could tell, because she chattered a lot, but yet she was right on all the time. Well, just when I thought I could, she could have been talking to the wall or something, she just would clue right in on something I said and would ask me a really insightful question. And I thought, this woman is, you know, got this wonderful combination of effervescence combined with real intelligence. Well, how lovely is that for you to be able to also take that yeah, and great. do that? Now, um, it's directed by Maggie. Okay. No, it's not. It's actually. not. Who's directing it? Um, Michael Bush is up from New York directing oh, right. the show. Okay. Um, he directed a very successful um, production of Cactus Flower last year at Capo Rep, which okay. was a play from the 60s that uh, was really a lot of fun. Um, and how and has it been working with him? Um, he's really been phenomenal. I have to say that all of us in the cast have been so pleased and happy to be working with Michael Bush. He's a wonderfully collaborative director. He really likes actors, which well, is lovely. shocking. Yeah. A lot of, it's surprising how many directors kind of either are scared of actors or maybe don't even like them very much. I think <laughs> it's a left brain, right brain yeah. thing. <laughs> Michael's not like that. He totally gets the process that actors go through. He lets you try things and then he pulls you back. He and it's not. He has a very clear vision of what he wants the well, story to be. That's key, isn't it? That's really yeah. key. And then off. Now you are the only upstate actor in this production. I'm the only Is that professional. right? There are eight eight characters in this play. Right. Um, two of them. Uh, all of us are middle aged. Which is lovely. Yeah, I, um, I read that and I thought, I don't think of Yvonne as middle aged, <laughs> well, but. <laughs> I'm actually very close to the real age of the character. Um, but there are, um, one of the characters has a daughter who's 17 and then her boyfriend. So there are two young um, teenage characters in the show. And they are both being played by um, ex University of Albany students who are actually students of mine there because, you know, I teach at U Albany. Yes. And they audition, you know, but they're, they're the local non echo actors, and both of them are actually in the process of getting their equity cards. Oh, with wonderful. The show. That's great. So, and the rest, but the rest of the adult actors are all up from New York, yes. Um, you're also one of the only, from what I understand, parents in the whole show. Is that right? I am the only one with children in the cast. Yeah. yeah. Now, how is that for you? I mean, does that, see, personally for me, I found that it's always made me a lot more organized, mm. although there are those moments of chaos. Mm -hmm. What do you take from that? And how are your girls? Um, they must get a lot out of this, right? Yeah, my girls are so cool. They're like your kids. They're just so cool about it. They love that. They love coming to the theater. They've both seen the show twice now. They saw it last night from beginning to end, but they've sat in on a couple of rehearsals. Amazing. And um, my daughter Josie loves being backstage and hanging out with the crew. She really wants to be on crew. Josie was in Christmas Story last winter. I did um, Christmas Story at Capitol Rep. I played Ralphie's mom. And Josie was actually, she's my 11-year-old, she was actually in that show. So she's familiar with the environment there. Um, they they get a kick out of it. They just think it's totally normal to have a mom who's on TV sometimes and on stage sometimes and comes on the radio in the car sometimes. And um, they think it's normal that when they go see Broadway shows, they get to go backstage and meet the actors. <laughs> I'm like, most people don't get to do that. I guess that's where we're very lucky that you yeah. did not stay in New York City, yeah. that you did come to rest up here mm. and, and really continue to do what you do. Right. Real quick for the camera, let's give you a plug. So it's Sisters Rosenzweig. Sisters Rosenstrack. <laughs> it's at Capitol Repertory Theater, 111 North Pearl Street in right. Albany. Uh, we start previews tonight. We officially open on uh, January 24th. Okay. And you can just go to capitalrep.org for more information. You could also go to the Proctor's website and get more information about Capital Rep and to access the box office. Oh, wonderful. Yvonne, it's been so lovely having you. Thank you so much. And it's been lovely having you. Thank you for joining us on this great interview with Yvonne Perry. And please don't miss the show. I'm sure you're going to be missing out on a lot if you do. For now, I'm Heidi Phillipson. Thank you.